Hey guys, your favorite Willie here, Junk Car Willie, with millions of views. I'm not going nowhere, here to stay, riding around in my Rowdy River here trying to make your day. This is part four of Charlie's Auto Salvage. And there'll probably be at least five, probably six parts, uh, trying to, to break them up in 20, 25 minutes. Old TV service truck here, early 60s. Not a sedan delivery, but a uh, panel truck. Yeah. Let's see. I'll give you guys a look so you can tell me. Uh, 64 to 66 on it. These are cars that, when I did this summer, it's full of brush, and this wasn't even cut then. I couldn't even get there. That car's been there a while. Look at here. The front bumper right there. See that part of the front bumper? They had some kind of guard on it. Grew it into the tree. That is cool. Some kind of homemade bumper guard they had on that thing. I see a Torino and a Camaro that I want to go up and check on. Because there's mostly Ford here. So I try to get all the Mopars. And GM, I can. Now this is, I think this is a 70, the first year of the Vega. It's, it's, it's one of the first ones. And it's a notch box instead of a hatch. Well, come on, Willie. Notch back, not a hatch back. Which means it had a trunk instead of the big old. All right, it's pretty well, pretty well parts car. That was a pretty green this day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 70. Look what we got. Is that a Camaro or a Firebird? Camaro. What's left of it? Here we got a 70. 71 Torino with perfect tail lights. Now that one piece panel can't be cheap, but can be bought here at Charlie's Auto Shop. So this was a blue car with white interior. That had to be a looker in the day. Still got the 302 round in her. Factory scoop in it. This one's pretty far gone, guys. Well, they are. Right? They're car stars. Okay. White interior in it. It was a baby. Well, no, originally, no, originally it was a green too, and a pretty shade of green. White interior. I like those Torinos in the years. How they had that stripe down the side of them. 70 to 72. At least 70 to 71, I know. And we got this uh, is that a Cougar or Torino? No, Torino, guys. Oh, no, it's a Cougar. Cougar, Cougar. Cougar, right? Yeah, Cougar. Mercury Cougar. Cougar. Another 55, 56 Ford. Like I said, he's got plenty of parts for those and a few project cars. And he's got some good panels put away. We got us another demon or a duster. That'd be cool to find another demon. Got the demon tail lights that the demon and duster have. Uh, I think it's a demon or a dark sport, but I could be wrong. I think it's been repainted. That's why the decal ain't on the side. I don't think that's factory. 
There. Yeah, see, they got painted with the sticker there, so. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, I did three videos so far. Uh, hour and 15 minutes videos. I'll send through. And I'm thirsty. I'm up on this hill. I gotta walk back down the hill because. I didn't drive because I'm driving the Rowdy River here, and after 3,300 miles with no brakes, I think I've got to air my front ones now. I'm gonna have to bleed them, so I didn't want to come off this big hill. I've been driving it around lately, having to gear down, not wanting to touch the brakes or use the emergency brake. <clears throat> if you ever in emergency, guys, because I know I got some young guys in here, I know that's old ones. So, uh, if you got the emergency brake on an old car. Pull the handle out over by your left knee. There's another pinto. If you got the one in the middle, you hold in on the knob or pull out on the lever. You can use it as a back brake, mechanical back brakes. Now, if you just hit that thing, it's going to work like a mercy brake and throw you in a skid. But if you hold in on that lever, you can actually use that just like a brake. I mean, you know, I drove cars home like that, but please don't do that unless it's an emergency. I don't want nobody hurt. Maybe I can save somebody. How about a bug in the weeds? There's a bug in the weeds. And I sure can. So why do I keep trying? Yeah, we wiped around, wiped around, wiped around. My mouth's too dry. Feels like my chip lips are burning. Stop making me a cheesy bread. I'm so tight, I don't want to pay $2.50 for a bottle of pop. So I thought I'd grab me some water down here. Well, it's not that I'm cheap. I have to be cheap to be able to do this, guy. That's why I appreciate I put in the description. Any pledges on Patreon, uh, $5 or whatever. I've had three pledges. Which, you know, I appreciate them. Uh, this is in part one. And, but uh, if you do a super thanks here, you know, I could get that. I have four junkyards lined up. Two in Pennsylvania. One in New York. One in North Carolina. One in Michigan. Yeah, four. And I really like to go. Now, I gotta go up on that hill there. But I'm gonna walk down and see if they got any water. So we're going to stop this, and then I'm going to add to it, so it'll still be part four. Talking about a nice set of bucket seats. I don't think there's much back this way, but we'll look. I still got to go up on the other hill. And this is my fourth part, waiting on the first part to... Get cleared for no copyright claims. Oh, okay. It's got a galaxy over here. Huh. Yeah. Thing looks like it's been on the road lately. Yeah. Drive, I think. That's uh, 68 or 67, 67, I'm thinking. Somebody's reupholstered it one time, but clean looking car. It really is. Headliner's not even bad. What well, it looks like down the other side. Yeah, it's 67. Every car's got a different way of opening the hood. I don't think this has a release on the inside. And it does. I don't know. Wake release. Oh, what in the heck? <laughs> okay. Just have to look.
Okay, right here it is. Wow, this thing's ready to go, guys. <laughs> really darn cool. Look at that factory blue. Well, Charlie went to go get me a pop. Sprite. That's all I drank out in the water. So, I'm going to go back over and drink it. We'll start up on the hill on number four. This gasser right here, he was just telling me he built in the early 16s. He's had this since he was 17 and he started building it in the early 60s. Uh, pretty cool old car. I have to ask him when he gets back. I'm sure it's a. Well, I know it's either a 56 or 55, but he started working on it again. Huh. And he will get it done. And hope they go away. But, you know, to have a car, well, all, almost 60 years. So, I've had a lot of people that's had cars in their 40 years, but to have the same car for over 60 years, that's pretty cool. He's a true hot rod guy. And then there's another one here. That, uh, they got on a Stand twisted till they got the underneath of it all painted up. Motors in here, getting a little behind the behind the the junkyard in the building. Look, I still I've did uh, three parts. This is the fourth part. And I still got to go up on the hill. So that was the color green. It was pretty cool, isn't it, guys? <laughs> 